Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, I'm going to do a Fairbairn Sykes fighting knife build today. So this will be the basic design. I'm going to try and make it as sort of accurate as I can with the tools I've got, which are quite basic tools. I don't think I'm going to have a full taper on the edges. It will be more of a um, sort of maybe... 10 mil grind on each side, which which you'll see when it comes to it. Um, guard will be the same, but the basic shape will be the same. The handle, I don't know what material I'm using at the minute. I've no idea. I think I'm just gonna have to see how it goes. I need to see how easy the metal will drill, how many holes there are, and all stuff like that. So what I'm using is a weed slasher to make this project. So if you do this, you don't need any forging capabilities. Because this is an already hardened and tempered sort of tall steel, it will bend and go back to its nice straight shape, uh, and it works really well for home projects, and they're cheap. They're only about eight quid. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take the handle off and cut out this design and mark that onto the metal. So right, so that is the design put onto the metal I'm already having to rethink the handle because what I was going to do was going to have it full tang and taper the tang as well as the handle the issue is though the bellied part here is wider or as wide as the blade so if you tried to get a guard over it it, would, it wouldn't be able to go over that because the slot would have to be small enough to stop there so I'm not going to be able to do that now so it's going to have to, it will still be, um, it will still have a decent sized tang, but I may have to make that slightly smaller now. And it will, I think it will work. If I get some decent wood, I should be able to do a decent wooden handle for this. But I'm going to have to see how I go along. So what I'll do is cut it out now, making sure it's cool as I go along. I have a little sort of tub of water there, I can dip it in. And if I can't do that, I can always run it under a tap or get a wet cloth, a very wet cloth, and just keep smothering it in that. So that'll be cutting it out now. Right, so I've got the basic shape cut out. I'm just gonna refine this now on my little belt sander, again, keeping it cool as I go along. And then I can start putting the bevels on it. But that is the basic shape. Right, so that's the basic shape done. Now I'm going to get my little bevel jig, which is this. It's basically an L section with a little bit of wood on the bottom to tilt it up. And then I can put the bevels on next. So that is what I'll be doing now. I'll be putting the bevels for the edge on. So that's one side of the paint off, I'm going to turn it over, get the rest of the paint off the other side. Right, so that is the blade shaped, the bevels are on, ready to sharpen at a later date, and it's had a basic sanding so that that can be made nice and shiny at a later date. So the, the blade can actually be covered up soon. I'm now going to make the guard, this is a bit of 6mm mild steel, it'll be slightly thicker than your standard um, Fairbairn Sykes guard but you know it's what I've got and it'll, it'll still be good it'll just be slightly thicker I don't know if you can see this but that is the basic shape it'll be so I'll be cutting off these corners 
the taper in it. Can you see that? Not really sure. It's hard to see. So once you've drilled the holes, you need to either file between them if you can get a small enough file in, or what I do, you get the holes as close as possible, and then you get an old flathead screwdriver, and then chisel between. to knock out the bits basically uh, nearly got the slot completely through I'll carry on with a with the screwdriver and a file now if I can get a file in there that's the only thing with the weed slashes that sometimes doing the guards are quite difficult because of how small the slit is. It's actually easier with a bigger not with a bigger blade. <coughs> so I'm going to finish that off, maybe using a chisel and a file. Get in there, it's got the very nice basic outline of the fair barn now. Or fair barn, however you say it. If I'm saying it away, it's probably wrong. So, I need to start working on the handle now. And I think I'm going to use wood. I need to find a good hard wood. I still need to cut a little bit of this off. It leaves me two or three holes to fix the handle on. And it also enables me to make it slightly bigger than the tang. So that I can still shape it. You may see the tang at the top and the bottom, but in the middle it needs to be fatter. So it needs to, you know, this is going to have to be enclosed in the wood. But that, that won't be that difficult to do. <clears throat> and I'll probably just do some kind of pins, um, glue it and rivet it on. When I say pins, I mean rivet. Hopefully that should do it. So I still need to take a little bit off the handle because it's massively long at the minute. And then I'll work out what I'm doing. Right, so I have the handle scales glued on, about the right thickness. I've drawn on there the basic shape of the handle, which I'm going to shape in a minute. I've drilled the holes for the pins, which will basically just be nails. Uh, I did have one out somewhere. Um, right, I can't find it now, but somewhere is one of the nails that I'll do for pins. What I'm going to do is recess these holes a little bit so that the head will be under uh, under the surface if that makes sense because this is going to be shaped the heads may need to be shaped similar to the handle if that makes sense you'll see when I go along oh there it is, there so these will be the pins but I'm going to drill in a little bit of a recess for the head and the um, riveted end and the washer So I'm now probably going to just carve the handle I'll get it as close as I can with a knife and then once I've got the basic shape I can start sanding it Right, so I've got the handle shaped and sanded we have to stain it now, probably a dark stain because of some of the glue is black essentially, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I think it'll look better dark anyway. 
the blade has had a basic sanding again, so has the guard. So I'll keep sanding those. <coughs> but yeah, what I think I'll do now is stain the handle and then I can wrap that up, completely cover it up, and then put the edge on the blade and finish that. So I was worried that where the glue was, it would um, stain not very well, but it's making it appear like the grain, so that's not too bad. If you're ever doing double-edged blades, Make sure you're very careful because your fingers are pushing on a blade there, essentially. So as soon as this starts to get a little bit sharp, I'm going to put some leather gloves on or some cut-proof gloves on, cut-resistant. I've put an edge on this now. It's not that sharp, but you know I never make mine razor sharp. I'm going to try and tidy up the um, blade now so I'll just be going over with various sand papers going to a finer grit as you go right I'm gonna call it a day for this video and I'm gonna do the sheaf in a later video so if you're watching this at a later date and the video is done look in either one of the corners a video should pop up it will pop up as a card at the end as well and it should be in the description to show you how to make the sheath for this. But what I will do now is show you some HD pictures of the knife and maybe do a couple of stab tests. So don't forget to carry on watching. So yeah, there it is. I'm very happy with that. I definitely want to make more of these and I may make some to sell if people are interested. I think what I'll do next time though, I'm going to change the handle material. Um, I like the wood but it can be hard to work with in the configuration that the tang is so it might use something a little bit more stable but we'll see uh, wood is easier to use but yeah there you go there is my homemade very cheap alternative to a fair barn Sykes fighting knife hope you enjoyed it hope you found it helpful showed you how to make it without a forge don't forget to like the video definitely subscribe and um Share it if you want. Alright, so yeah, there it is. There's my nice Fairbarn Sykes type dagger. Don't forget to carry on watching because now there'll be a bit of bit of test footage and HD images. Alright, cheers for watching everyone. See you later.